Kimberly Pressler with your SCV News Break for Wednesday, November 25th. A hot prowl residential burglary was reported on Lone Rock Street in Canyon Country last week. Homeowners were woken up when a suspect knocked on their front door around 11.40 p.m. The victim says that when he exited his bedroom, he saw a person standing inside his house. He was unable to get a description of the suspect, but the investigation is ongoing. If you have any information about this crime, you are encouraged to call the Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff's Station at 255-1121 and talk to Deputy Chris Kraft at extension 4283. The Sulphur Springs School District's governing board approved more layoffs for some district employees in a packed meeting on Tuesday. The unanimous vote came in an effort to decrease the district's deficit from $3.1 million to $1.6 million. Cuts include going from nine librarians to only five and some receptionist and instructional assistant positions. Of the five remaining librarians, four will rotate around the district and one will be a permanent librarian. Layoffs earlier this year included teachers and administrative staff. City Council members unanimously voted on a speed limit for the recently opened portion of Golden Valley Road at their meeting Tuesday night. 50 miles per hour was the chosen speed limit for the road between Newhall Ranch and Claremore Way. The extension was opened in late September. We're going to take a quick break, but when we return, see what prompted officials to close down a popular road. Stay tuned. Hi Santa Clarita, did you know November is Men's Health Month? I'm sure you've heard of November, No Shave November. We're going to have a huge campaign this month. We really want you guys to get involved. SCV TV and HomeSmart are proud sponsors of this event. At the end of the month, we're going to have a great get together and just celebrate living here in Santa Clarita and men's health. And I'm Ray Tippett with the Circle of Hope. Please look for more information at www.circleofhopeinc.org. Welcome back. Hordes of people visited the now infamous Vasquez Canyon Road site over the weekend, which prompted county officials to input a permanent fence. Jessica Boyer found out more. About 150 feet of Vasquez Canyon Road was destroyed after a landslide pushed soil forward and up resulting in pavement going almost vertical in some places. Five days after the initial incident, Vasquez Canyon Road was blocked off with no trespassing signs after dozens of locals and tourists went to the site to see for themselves what nature was doing to the road. Okay, we have a uh, flood control over here. They're putting up a, a permanent fence because the road's gonna be closed for an indefinite time. And then we're going to put K row in front of the to uh, make sure that they can't get through by going through the fence. So, further precautions keep the people out. It's hard for us. We had the top of the mountain, and the mountain's still moving. I mean, and we don't know how fast it's going to move, so we're try trying to keep the people out of it. The problem was first reported on Thursday at about noon, and the road has risen about 15 feet since. Officials believe that the cause may be from the heavy storm this past October. They believe water may have seeped into the ground and weakened the soil. The engineers tell me that uh, uh, minor rippling in pavement is not unusual. Uh, something of this magnitude and this speed uh, happening is really quite uh, extraordinary. Our geologists are trying to assess the site because the soil is still moving. And until the geology of the area is stabilized, uh, we won't be able to get the highway engineers in to do work on the highway or even assess how the uh, roadbed might look. Uh, there was no reported seismic activity uh, here or yesterday uh, to speak of. Everything is being looked into because nothing is obvious. Um, but uh, again, there's no indication that seismic activity had anything uh, to do with this. Los Angeles County Public Works engineers and geologists are continuing to investigate the cause of the ground movement. Geologists were initially unable to take samples and examine the hill because the area is on private property. Santa Clarita City officials are recommending Sierra Highway as an alternate route. The mountain is still moving and Vasquez Canyon Road is closed indefinitely. As you can see behind me, there are people climbing on top of the road. CHP and LA County Public Works are asking the public to stay off of the road for their own safety.
I'm Jessica Boyer for SCV TV. Looking for a way to start your Thanksgiving off early with some exercise? The annual COC Turkey Trot is back again starting at 8.30 a.m. The three-mile cross-country jog or walk winds through the hills overlooking the valley and finishes inside Cougar Stadium. Entry fees are $20 and you get a race t-shirt. Now turning to weather, Wednesday was clear and cool with a high of 54. Temps are cooling down for Thanksgiving with highs expected to be in the low 60s. Overnight lows will get chilly with highs in the 40s. That's all for your SCV News Break. For more local news, you can log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. And be sure to tune in tomorrow for a special Thanksgiving-themed episode. Thanks for watching. I'm Kimberly Pressler.